dear students, by the grace of God, I'm serving as a mission coordinator in the West. And uh, I thank God that for the fact that the Lord has taken me. I'm a teacher of geography and business, and I have had my colleague who is here first year. This is a journey that the Lord is going to lead you all through. This is a journey the Lord that is going to show you His way. And I thank the Lord for everyone that has come on to this place. Because there is a mighty change and a transformation that is going to occur. You are not here for our mistake, but you are here to connect with the Lord. Because this is a place of worship. And where we found the presence of the Lord, we are going to find the blessings of the Lord. You are not here by mistake, somebody. Touch your neighbor and tell him, for the love of God is here in this place. I shall connect to the blessings of the Lord. For the love of God is found in this presence. I shall be connected with the blessings of the Lord. There is a spirit of God that is roaming out of this place. In the name of Jesus. There is a certain spirit that is moving. We call it the spirit of God. There are several spirits that you may have of. But there is one spirit that is found everywhere. And it doesn't matter the situation in that place. It doesn't matter whatever is happening there. But there is one spirit. That is the spirit of God among us. Any other spirit that is found in the place of worship. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. You are not here by mistake. Today I want us to share the word of the Lord. That the spirit is already in this. That the spirit of God has already ministered unto us. As I minister, I don't even want you to be silent. But there is something that I want you to do in a spiritual way. Just tell God, I shall not receive from whatever the minister is speaking. But I want to receive from whatever you are ministering to me. There is a certain ministration that the Spirit ministers to somebody when you connect with the grace that is speaking. All together. Yeah. This is a mighty encounter that you are going to get today. And your life will, will not remain the same. It doesn't matter the area where you are coming from. But when Jesus is coming to come, is going to come out of your life, He is going to transform your story. He is going to change your narrative. It shall not remain like a story anymore. But Jesus is going to change you. Jesus is going to renew your strength. Jesus is going to change everything that has been happening to the glory of the kingdom and the power and the power of the Lord. Hallelujah. Let us go together. I'm going to be very brief. I don't know whether I'm going to be brief, but by the grace of God, I am going to try to be brief to speak the word of the Lord according to His will. So we are going to go together in the book of Psalms, chapter 51 and verse 10. Psalms chapter 51 and verse 10. Uh, if you have a Bible, you can read with me. Great in me a pure heart, O oh God, and renew the steadfast spirit within me. Do not cast me from your presence, or take your Holy Spirit from me. Restore to me the joy of your salvation, and grant me the will, the willing spirit to sustain me in the name of Jesus. That is the word of the Lord. The word is, is talking about renewing your spirit. And our topic today is kneel down in Christ Jesus. Kneel down in Christ Jesus. It's a very deep topic. But by the end of the spirit, we are going to narrow it to be a very shallow topic. To, for us to have the grace in the topic. Not just the grace in the topic, but the grace in the word of the Lord. Because when we look in the book of John chapter 1 verse 1, it is talks about in the beginning there was the word, and the word was with God, and the word was God. This is the word that was speaking about in the beginning. When Jesus speak, had ear, they refer that they say Jesus is the word that was in the beginning. And when Jesus speak of the Christ, is going to enter into your life. You are going to receive a new restoration. How do we know? It doesn't matter whatever you have been passing through. But what matters, it is the joy of salvation. I want you to understand one thing. You were not saved to suffer. You were not saved to suffer. But you are saved to receive the blessings of the Lord. 
You have to connect with the blessings of the Lord by connecting yourself with the Holy Spirit. How together? The Holy Spirit is our helper. That when we are given by Jesus before he ascended on to the heaven. This is our helper. That's why the Bible tells us do not set apart the still first love of the Holy Spirit. The scripture has told us here, do not take your Holy Spirit from me. Hallelujah. Do not take the Holy Spirit from me. I believe in the beginning, when we look in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, there is something that Lord that made unto us that we have to understand that Lord God our Father is already living unto us, is already living inside us. We are the people who are corrupting the presence of God. But I want you to understand this tonight, this today. You are not going to cast out the presence of God. When you read in the book of Genesis chapter 2 verse 7, it talks about God himself breathing onto your nostril the bread of life. The bread of life. This is the spirit of God that is already deposited onto you. But as a human being, we have casted out the presence and the spirit of the Lord that was originally given unto us. That's why we are falling out of his presence. We are falling out of the shot of the glory of the Lord. But I want you, as we are going to arise from whatever has been oppressing us, we have to receive the understanding from the beginning. Because Jesus Christ is the foundation of everything. Jesus Christ is the author of your faith and the finisher of your faith. When you are going to begin this, this journey with Christ, it means that the foundation will not be shaken. It shall stand firm like the, mind, like the mountain. You know the mountain? We cannot be shaken. Despite of ways, despite of anything that is going to rise, the foundation that has already been started with Jesus, cannot be shaken by anything. This is not a matter of tribe. This is not a matter of wherever you're coming from. This is not a matter of whatever doctrine you have been listening unto. This is a matter of Christ. When I look in the book of Colossians, I see everything that is happening in this world is all going to pass because the scripture tells me these are the shadow of things which we are to come. But the truth is our found in Christ. Where are you seeking the truth? I understand most of us, we have worshipped in so many churches. We have gone in so many places and also we have met so many men of God. But a man of God that teaches any other gospel, apart from the gospel of God, is teaching his own, his, his own gospel. Anyone that comes with the name of the Lord, Connected by the Spirit of God is ready to be sent by God because it carries the message of God. How do you This is the mighty understanding and the transformation that the Spirit of the Lord that is wanting us to receive today. Don't say that I belong to the living in the Lord. In our tradition, this one we does not do. Living in Kaba, but in our place. This kind of worship he does not know. There is a new God in Christ that I want you to take it in a mighty way. Shaka Badolis Ketiriela. Yes, Jesus. Doctrines have denied the power, have denied the access of revival in this country. Doctrine of your churches. I don't know the church that I go and you don't know the church that you go. But I understand whatever was first kept in your mind is whatever denying you to have the access of the Holy Ghost. The Holy Ghost cannot be, uh, you cannot just mold yourself to accommodate the Holy Ghost. But the Holy Ghost is the one that is going to seek an empty vessel that is ready, that is ready to receive his presence and transform his body to be a temple. Hallelujah. Amen. We are not talking about the church, but we are talking about the temple of God. This is your body that you have already transformed, ready to receive this Christ. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. There is 
I will bow in Christ. This is a complete transformation from the old being to a new being with the when Jesus has already entered into you. When Jesus has already entered you, there is something that the people who are in darkness they know. But as believers, we have not able to understand. There is a big secret that is hidden in the darkness. That is why we call it a darkness. But we don't call it a light. Hallelujah. That's why we see these people of the earth. They offer a very heavy sacrifice to believe their God. These people of the heart, they know how to worship their gods. Hallelujah. Amen. But for us who have received life, we don't know to, act, to worship the Lord. That's what the scripture tells us. God is a spirit. And his worshippers should worship him in true and spirit. His worshippers should worship in true and spirit. These people, they know how. That's why you see them just doing family of words. But you will find yourself in the church. But you cannot be able to speak a word to God. One thing you have to understand. If you not communicate to your God, God is not going to communicate to you. Abbe Belzani. Hallelujah. Who you know Abbe If you cannot take your time and communicate to God, why should you expect ministration from God? Who is not your friend? Make God your friend. Make Jesus your friend, friend. And make your environment to be conducive. When Jesus is trying to give every day gift, you are going to be found in his presence. But for us, all we are saved, due to the corruptible nature of this world, the Antichrist, Christ, the spirit of rebellion, the one that has come on to us, has taught us to chase away the presence of God. And now we are creating room for the presence of evil worship. That's why you find a man of God is saved, a woman of God is saved, but the soul that she or he is listening, they does not glorify God. They does not give glory to God. Why? What are you expecting from God? If you cannot create your room to be an altar of worship, hallelujah. Places to sleep, but places raised higher to be an altar of God. Yeah. Hallelujah. Yeah. There are people who have undergone so many problems in this place. Problem needs solution, and the solution is Jesus Christ. Problem needs solution, and solution is found in Christ. So problem needs. Jesus. And Jesus is found when you believe in him. Hallelujah. Amen. If you have believed in your heart and now you have confessed this Jesus Christ, there is a new renewal of the Spirit of God that comes upon you instantly. Because I tell people, we does not worship Jesus of tomorrow. We does not worship God of tomorrow. But we are worshiping God of today. Is going to 
allow the roof of Jesus, the roof of God to be inside you. Hallelujah. Amen. Peter, despite that he was taught by God, God cast your leg deeper in the sea. Peter did not even believe in this. But Jesus, who is God, really understands whatever he was talking about. Jesus knew where the real catch of the fish was found. He could penetrate his hand deeper in the oceans, deeper in the dark roads, and see where the fish will be able to make it. How to connect it? Don't be found by the divine. When Jesus is going to come out your life, please don't be found on the divine.
afford man who looks like the Son of God. This is Jesus. This is Jesus. Hallelujah. Meshach, Shadrach, and Abednego, they did not do this without understanding. But they understand that God Himself was already in them. That's why they entered in the tunnel of fire without fear. Hallelujah. They understand that God was already inside them. Christ was inside them. That is why they could focus their eyes and see that there is our Savior who is coming to save our generation, who is coming to save the country of Israel. They could focus up their eyes and see Jesus on the tunnel of fire. They understood the mystery behind the verse in the book of Isaiah. Chapter 43 and verse 2. There is something interesting that those men of God had to carry before they entered in the tunnel of fire. Even if you pass through fire, they will not consume you. This is the understanding of the power of the scripture in the book of Isaiah 42, for the very first time. Hallelujah. I don't know whether I'm to, you're connected with me. But there is a certain thing that made them to score the appearance of Jesus in the fire. The appearance of Jesus in the fire made what seemed to be impossible to the king and also to the nations change to be possible. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know whether you are connected. I don't know whether you are connected. There is something that I want you to get. I understand that you have been passing so many situations that may be killing your worship to God. That may be disconnecting you from the reality of Jesus. But I want you to I want I want I want to tell you something. Most of us in this place we have been passing all that. But due to Jesus Christ, who is already in us, has transformed us to be the way we are. Hallelujah. There might be something. I want you to go in the book of uh, Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. Isaiah chapter 9, verse 6. There is something God is telling me. A child. I don't know whether I can go there. Yes.
We should not come, we should not just come onto this app like they, but like messengers of Christ. Jesus Christ is going to perfect all the errors in us and is going to give us onto this world. And the world shall not be able to hold us. Hallelujah. Amen. I don't know I'm teaching something that is constructive unto you. But the Bible tells me, let them hear that. It's not a must for us to know that you're praying. 
It is not a must for us to know whatever you are doing. But it is a must for you to pray. That is not found in the scripture. I was trying to talk about the secret room. Where we found the full encounter of Jesus. Full encounter of Jesus. is found in the secret room. Where there is no more noise that can speak on you. But the voice of the Lord is the one that is speaking on you. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Praise Jesus. Praise Jesus. I don't know. The time is almost up. I don't want to use a lot of time. But I want to give something that is very much constructive on you. There is this man that was called the incarnate man. That was just found. Just close to the pole. I want you to get the narrative of the town of Christ. And I, as I am speaking, I just see the demonstration of Jesus just walking close to the pole and find this man just seated there. There was no man who could take him and just dip into the water when the waters were stirred. But Jesus, after he appeared, Jesus appeared to that man. He did not even need to take him and put him into the water. He just told him, take your mats and go. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. Take your mats and go. Take your mats and go. But that is not something for us to be chasing. That Jesus came back after this man was rejoicing because he had received his help. Jesus came in place where he found that man in the ministry of people and told him, Do not continue sinning. And in the case you continue sinning, something worse is going to occur to you. Jesus is going to appear unto you. But if you continue doing the old things, something worse is going to appear unto you. This is the message of God, not my message. Hallelujah. Amen. When Jesus has already came unto you, don't continue singing. Don't continue doing whatever past you to be doing. Because Jesus is a transformer. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I'm just teaching, I'm not preaching. Hallelujah. Amen. This man was rejoicing. I have received Christ. I have received Jesus. I have seen a mighty miracle happen unto me. But he never understood the power of message, the power of the word of God that is all I'm talking about. You doesn't want, I doesn't want you to go in many crusades, many revival meetings, and you are given impartation power, but you does not have the understanding of the power which is coming from. There is something that the book of Revelation talks about. This man Jesus accepted to be slain. Aka kubali kufunja fujo, kupigwa na kuonewa in order to receive this power. Who are you, a mere man? Just to receive a invitation power without the understanding of the word. Hallelujah. Amen. There is something that I want you to get. For you to have Jesus sincere in you. To have Jesus incomplete in you. You have to understand the mystery behind the scripture. Is found in the scripture. Hallelujah. Amen. The correct message that you can catch is found in the scripture. But for us, the young ministers of the world, our mind has been corrupted in a way that 
We does not want to sell like Apostle Paul. Hallelujah. I like what the Apostle Paul said. I have not received this Christ just because of teachings. But I have received this Christ through the revelation of him. Hallelujah. God is going to come on to you in a mighty way. Jesus is going to come on to you in a mighty way. If only you are not going to dwell on teaching and revelation of men, but you are going to refresh yourself in the revelation of Jesus Christ that is given by the spirit of understanding and wisdom. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. When you pray, you want to seek things from Christ. And the Bible tells me, seek and you shall find. Ask and shall be given unto you. And I go further in the book of the Revelation chapter 3 verse 20. There is something that the Lord is already speaking through John. That is very much interesting. Jesus is ready to come onto your life. The dawn of Jesus is already ready to appear onto you. He is there knocking at your heart. The door is a representation of the act of man. Knocking at your door, welcoming you. You have already seen this Christ. Now Jesus himself has already allowed you to come unto him. How many people in this place, they shall open their doors to receive this Christ. I understand that I'm not preaching to people who are not born again. I am that one I understand. But there is an encounter that is not only for the people who are born again. Not just, not be, that encounter, I mean an encounter that comes upon you. When you will come this Christ in you. Because in the mighty ministration that you hear, it does not appear because of wisdom of men. But the timing of Christ in the temple, once you have already allowed him to come out your life. Hallelujah. Amen. Hallelujah. Amen. I thank the Lord because of the mighty thing that is doing upon you. I want you to tell you, I want uh, to say something that is going to be very much interesting on you. Hallelujah. God is ready. Are you ready? The 24 elders in the, in the heaven 
to worship God. Let's 
place saying that it is true I have been found in the presence of God I have been found understanding this Christ I have been found Jesus Christ in me I was born in my church but I need this Jesus to come upon my life in a new way renew my spirit renew my thoughts this is the new dawn that I want us to begin with. This is a new beginning that I want us to begin with. Because Jesus is ready to transform us. Jesus is ready to change us. But if we are ready to receive him, hallelujah.
just did in Michigan. And so it's still pain. I want to get people who feel that they are not belonging to this kind of Christ. If you are in the midst of us and you can hear this voice and you feel that you are weak, please raise your hand. I want to pray with you. I want to pray with people who feel that they are weak and they need the renewal of the spirit. Wherever you are, take a step of faith and talk to her. She can be sent to the middle of the sun. If you feel that you are weak and you need the feeling of the spirit, this is a moment. Jesus. Take a step of faith wherever you are. Come when the grace is still speaking. Come when the grace is still manifesting. Take a step of faith. Don't look whoever is around you. I told people that encounter is personal. Encounter is personal. I will only pray with two groups. The first group is the one that is here. And the other group, I'm going to mention after praying with these people. In the name of Jesus, in the name of Jesus. Risha Kapatara Manos Kepetino Manos Kapania. Risha Patara Manamana Manos. Atore Manzen Ketere Manana Manos Kepetino Skepet. Can I get a worship as you pray? Shaka Pasatara Manos Kepetino Manos. Risha Kapatara Manamana Manamana Manos Kepetino Manos. Risha Kepetino Kepetino I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that you are going to make a turn in this place. I pray that